Here we're going to talk about the nonlinear model that is provided for the mini project, which looks at a boost converter, a DC DC converter that's powered by a battery. And our objective is to make the output voltage 5 volts. So, for example, we're emulating like a USB or some sort of 5, foot, five volt output. All right, some things I want to tell you about this model. So, if we open this battery model, we have different chemistries, so you can pick the chemistry based on which battery you're looking at. So we have lithium ion. We have to update these parameters as well. So you have to look up the nominal voltage for your battery. So say maybe this one is 3.6. You have to update that value. And you also have to update the, the capacity. So how much energy does the battery have? You can look up a real application and you can find maybe a phone battery, see how much energy uh, capacity that has, and then put that into here. So say we're just going to make up some number two. Oops. Sorry, right, open that back up. I want to talk about one more thing. So the state of charge, so this is the initial state of charge. As you know, as you use a battery, like on your phone, the percentage, the capacity of the battery will decrease. So this is just saying where is the initial charge? Is that at 100%, 80%, 70%? and from there you will take power out of it. Note that the nominal voltage will actually change depending on the state of charge and that depends, the shape of that curve depends on the battery chemistry that you choose. So these are some nonlinearities that we're putting into our system to see if our controller is still going to work with all these nonlinearities in them. Okay, so once we've set these three parameters, we are good. Okay. So now we have our boost converter here and our input to our system is our duty ratio here. Here we're going to do open loop, so there's no feedback. Just doing a duty of 5. If we run this, we can look at our different outputs here. We're looking at the current. So if we look at our current, we see that there's some, some value it's kind of stabilizing to. If we look into here, we see there's a triangle wave here. This shows us that our system is switching between our two switch states, which means it's working. Okay. The next part, we want to look at the voltage. If we look at our output voltage, we see it stabilizes to some value, but this value is not 5. This is why we need the controller. So, next question we have is how do we put the controller we designed, how do we put it onto the system? So, you can go back to our old system. So This is our linear version of our system. And essentially all we want to do is just copy the part that we made, right? So this part was modeling our system, but now we have the real nonlinear version of that. So we just want to take the controller and go back to our nonlinear system here and just copy this in. And this was our Y, right? So now our Y is going to be our output voltage. And this is a measurement block. So it goes from, this is a circuit, and then this puts it, makes it into a signal, a voltage signal. This is our output voltage. This is our Y, essentially. And so, oops, double Y, just one. Our Y, so then that's compared to our Y ref, which is still 5. And then we put it through our controller. And now we want to disconnect, this is our open loop constant, we want to connect our controller and see if it's going to work. So you need to design this controller and when you press run it should make the system go to 5 volts. And as your system changes you should be able to maintain that 5 volts. So that's the goal of the project. I hope that helps. Good luck.